organizer of our show today. It's called The Art of Native Plants. And we're here at the Visitor Center here in Townsend, Tennessee. The Great Smoky Mountains National Park is the number one most visited in the national park system. And we're lucky to have such a jewel here with the biodiversity we have here. It's, it's tremendous. And we're trying to express that in our own way with our artwork today. The Southern Appalachian Mountains represent the most diverse ecosystem of all the national parks. We have over 1,600 plant species represented in Great Smoky Mountain National Park. I first fell in love with the flame azalea, just like everybody else, and uh, tried to grow some and eventually found a hybrid that I could keep alive for a little while. And, put them in front of my cabin, my house, and uh, I learned that from Bartram, and uh, Bartram said coming through here that on a horse, that they thought that the horse's legs were on fire or, or bleeding because flame azaleas were, were red up to the horse's haunches, and uh, Bartram was very special to us because he was the subject of our pilot program. So the very first Heartland show was William Bartram, the flower hunter. Yeah, I like ironweed. I like fire pink, and I like uh, the Hercules Club. It's got big thorns all over it, so you better be careful if you're going to grab it. My wife and I have two uh, Franklinias. I've got a picture of a Franklinia on my phone. Franklinia uh, has different flowers every day, just like you can start your day over again. Everything in our show here today was inspired by the native plants of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Well, I was invited in to show uh, some examples of what's growing in the Smoky Mountain National Park that has to do with wood. So on the wood turning, this is a hickory bowl um, made out of a hickory, hickory tree. It has a spalting on the inside of it. This one is a white oak. It has some uh, bud carvings on it and some spalting also with it. I have two pieces here that are representative of the trees that go in the park in this area of Tennessee. The one I'm holding happens to be a cherry burl. Burls are the knots that you see growing in trees. Uh, they're super interesting to turn because you never know what's going to be inside a burl. The other piece I have over here is uh, walnut showing both the kind of the sapwood and the heartwood and the bark edges on it. I am here representing people who would have lived in this area prior to the park. But the park system is 100 years old, so we're celebrating that. They were basically a very uh, poor people. They were farmers. And I'm just paying tribute to the people who moved. <laughs> Have you ever been hiking and uh, it starts to rain slightly and have you ever watched the rain fall on the leaves and fall on the ground? I use rain in my artwork. I allow the rain to blend the colors into, into an image. It's an artist letting go and letting nature create the beauty. I shoot all my pictures in the Great Smoky Mountains. I think this park feeds people's soul. Um, it really is a way to get back in touch with yourself. Uh, all you have to do is go find a rocky river or a wooden a, a path full of ferns and wildflowers and you can escape anything that's bothering you. I think there's a lot of people in our country that if it wasn't for the National Park wouldn't have a clue. Uh, they're born in a city, they, they learn to ride bicycles and skateboards and they don't know nothing else. They don't know what a tree actually is, don't know what a stream smells like, or they don't know the, 
the enjoyment of just walking through the woods and then seeing like a deer or a turkey in its natural habitat just walk across and just enjoy watching it. it don't, you don't have to do anything. It's just being there. I take wood from other sources and I repurpose it for furniture. Irish pub benches, colonial style benches, uh, little nightstand, end table. And I find wood from all over. And mostly where I found these and the pieces in this show have been in the park. You take wood from other sources and you, and you build furniture from it. And ultimately you can cut that up into firewood if, if you need to. And, uh, it's not done yet. You can take those ashes and then, and then make live soap with it. Some of this wood's 125, 130 years old and, and we're still using it. And I think that's the real beauty of it. I just really enjoy being able to get out and see the nature that we have here from the Smoky Mountains. I see the birds, I see the sky. I like to look around. I, I try to pay attention as I try to recreate nature in gum paste or sugar paste it's called. It's an old time craft. I encourage everyone to come out to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, come and see the natural beauty that we have. We're very, very lucky to have this fantastic biodiversity right at our fingertips. <laughs>